Good afternoon, folks. I feel so powerful. I just said a few words, and everyone sort of turned and quieted down. Welcome, folks. This is our 43rd annual employee recognition event. Thank you for being here. My name is Greg McGrath. I am on year 18 of a one-year plan. I'm sorry for those of you that heard that joke this morning, um, and, and happy and privileged to be here. Um, many years ago, maybe not that many years ago, a few years ago, a friend and colleague of mine and ours, Dave Megida, was our chief administrative officer and had worked here for many years. And I saw him get very excited at this event to share recognition for several of our employees, of our family members. And I think now, after having been here for 18 years, and to have this privilege to stand here with you folks today and to be a part of this, and to know so many of the names of our colleagues and friends that we're going to recognize, I share that excitement. And so this is wonderful, and I, I thank you for being here. Um, thank you. I look forward to this, and kudos to each of you who's going to get recognition tonight. Um, even some right retirees, some folks who've left Norwich have come back and join us. Uh, very excited to see you. Thank you for joining us. We're going to start with the K. Bowen recognition, and so I'd like to ask President Ann Rumo to come up and join us. Sir, if you'd come up on stage. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. So uh, we're going to do the formal part of the program here in a moment, but I want to thank everybody for being here. What a nice turnout. It's been a very nice day, hasn't it? Who won Cornhole, by the way? You feel like you might have. That's not very authoritative. Yes? Well, can... All right. Cornhole's a team effort, apparently. I'm going to hold my comments otherwise. So I haven't seen most of you often enough, and I'm, I'm very sorry for that. But uh, I did learn when I took the job that my purpose was to be on the road, to support the school, uh, build up constituencies, and to uh, generate support for the fine school. So I've been gone. I think I've been gone for seven of the last eight weeks. I won't be back for a day or two at a time. But you know, being present is really important. And for me, it's, it's like, how do I be present for everyone all the time? And it's impossible. And I got to learn the terrible lesson of sometimes you, it's inevitable to disappoint somebody. So I'm going to tell everybody really quickly. So I was on the road, and I diverted my trip to last night get to Central Maine and watch women's hockey. Because they made the NCAA tournament. They won the, the, uh, the conference championship at Elmira. I learned the back way to get to Amira. I almost died five times, but we got to watch the game, and they did such an incredible effort, and it was so meaningful that um, the parents were there. We had other members of the faculty and staff there, and it just meant a lot for them, so that was pretty beautiful. So I, <laughs> I diverted last night, flew into Maine. I, I've never been to Maine before. I've learned that it's very large, and I had to drive very far. But it was a heartbreaker, but they, were, they did very, very well. They, they took a bus back late last night, so I got back about 3 in the morning. I'm, I have to leave again Saturday, and I'll be gone for another week. But I came back really just for this, because I want you to hear me and see me say thank you to all of you for the great things you're doing all the time. And this was a very special day. And I got to see a lot of the, uh, of the wonderful events that happened. And apparently, I have to set the record straight on something that's critically important. The name of the dog that we adopted is Sally Rose, not Sally May. I don't know what happened. I don't know why that was a dramatic revelation. But because the students named her, if you recall, her full name is Sabine Sally Rose, the Rook of Woodbury Hall. So next year, I hope there'll be a question. And those of you that are here today can remember such a celebration. But I'm going to ask somebody else to come up here in a second and share their, um, their personal memories. But before I do that, I want to say um, just another word or two of thanks to those that helped set today up. Okay, and uh, it's funny because I asked, well, who should I acknowledge? And the person I'm going to acknowledge first did not name herself. She said, well, please celebrate these people and make sure we get to mention how wonderful they were today. So I do want to, um, so that would be Sarah Quincy, of course. And I would like to, all of us, um, show our appreciation for the great work she did to help set the up. <laughs> But of course, she said, please don't thank me in front of everyone. <laughs> she said, please make sure you talk about Kyle Southworth and uh, Laura Copley. So I want to acknowledge If you two would please stand and let us celebrate you as a group. Thank you for everything you did to make everything today. So well. She hates when I do this, but I'm going to say hi to Kathy. Hi. 
It's so nice to see you. <laughs> All right, um, so obviously I did not know uh, Kay Bowen, right? But I got to learn about her through everyone's memories of those who got to serve with her and just what an incredible human being she was beyond being a great employee. So uh, it's funny when you get to learn somebody about someone's qualities through other people's memories, sometimes you get a, a really beautiful sense of who they were, what they meant to the institution. But Dave Whaley is going to come up here in a moment because he did know Kay very well. And uh, last year we had a nice conversation about her, and uh, he shares his memories of her so beautifully that I wanted to make sure he could share it with all of you. So, Dave. So, before I start, is there anyone in the room that has met Kay, met Kay Bowen during her time when she was at North? So, Bijan did. Who's that? So Sheila did. So only a few of us. And um, Mrs. Bowen was, we never called her Kay, I can tell you that. Um, she was a house mother. Uh, back in the day, a little quaint phrase that she watched over Woodbury Hall when it was the junior class club. So Flint Hall was for the sophomores, Woodbury was for the juniors, Roberts Hall was for the seniors, and you can imagine the freshmen got nothing. And... Um, but Kay would take you under her wing, right? I mean, Northfield hasn't changed much uh, in that time. Norwich has. But it was small, 800, 900 all males. Who, um, and the only place you get TV was in Woodbury Hall, Roberts Hall, or Flint Hall. And um, you would go there and gather. You could share your challenges with either grades, home, the Vermont College women, the girlfriend at home, whatever it might be. And she was really what you would call a house mother. And then when we did away with the class clubs, she started to work in student activities, student life, career counseling. And she continued to have a huge impact on then the men and women that were students at Norwich. And always a kind word, always a spirit in her eye, but she didn't take a whole lot of grief either. She, she would call BS when it was BS, and um, she made a difference in my life um, on some of the counseling. I, my parents lived fairly far away when I was here, so there was no going home on weekends or even holidays, and um, I will tell you the people that uh, will receive the Bowen Award today and those that received it in the past and those that receive it in the future um, you're following in the footsteps of a wonderful, wonderful human being. So, sure. Thank you, Dave, very much. You know, it's funny, you, you get named awards, and if you don't have the connection to why it's so meaningful, uh, sometimes the magic of it is lost. So that's a thank you for that beautiful connection, Mr. Whaley, who we'll hear from here again in a second or two. So I do want to um, ask previous winners of the award because this is a nice connection to our past and what makes us such a special institution. So if you're a previous winner of the Bowen Award, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you very much. And just to add to what uh, Dave offered from his uh, very personal perspective, uh, Kay, or Kathleen Bowen, was an Orch employee who worked at Student Life for 35 years. She lived on campus in Woodbury Hall, which is now, of course, the president's residence, until she passed in June of 90. Her passing was a huge loss to the university faculty and staff and those students who saw her as a mother and grandmother away from home. The individuals we're going to celebrate here in a second bring to their jobs the spirit and characteristics that were epitomized by Kay Bowen. Examples of those characteristics include kindness, being a team player, being effective at their job, efficient, and most importantly, going above and beyond. A dedication to Norwich University and their department, respectful, trustworthy, accountable for their actions, excellent customer service, participates in the Norwich community, and represents Norwich in a professional and appropriate manner. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a 31 nominees for these awards this year, 31. So this is a moment that 
you know, to get in for an award and to win an award, you have to have a supervisor or a work section that cares enough to take care of their folks the right way. So I do want to take this second and thank and acknowledge those supervisors and coworkers who took the time to write 31 nominations. That shows the right compassion and the right level of leadership and care for your people. So I get to now present these awards. And I didn't know who these were until this paper was handed to me about 12 minutes ago. So I'm going to ask these three people, there are three winners, to come up. We'll applaud as they walk up. I'm going to ask the individual to stand here so they can very awkwardly stare upon all of you and you back at them while I read the citation of how they earned the award. So the first category is administrative support and the winner for this year is Charlene Campbell. And every time there's a Bowen Award winner, it's the same reaction. What? Me? My favorite people have pods. Congratulations. <laughs> Can you I'll go right up front. You got to get the full view of everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. So this is written from the perspective of her work center. So I'll read this for everyone. Sherry has functioned as the glue that holds the career and internship center together. She schedules all our appointments, and she is usually the first person to greet students in our office. As the face of the CIC, Sherry does her best to accommodate each student's scheduling needs and does so with warmth and empathy. She takes the time to talk with each student and gets the true understanding of their needs and their unique situation, often asking them about their home and family. She never complains about her job or taking on more work to help the team. She truly makes me want to be a better leader. She makes all of our constituents feel welcome, special, and supported even when she has a million things to do. She has never asked for thanks, but it is our turn now to thank her for her years of service and dedication to the campus community, but also our external partners as well. Sherry takes care of us, and it is now our turn to take care of her. The second of the three categories is the manager or senior professional in administrative professional group. And this year's awardee is Patrick Gardner. not enough ways to express how much Norwich loves Patrick. Every single experience that has had with him has been top notch. He's a great communicator, collaborator, and problem solver. If there is a protocol question, Patrick is the person to go to. Not only does he get you an answer, he also gets you more than you ask for in order to help you make the proper and correct decision regarding any manner of question. We have never heard Patrick say no to anything. He is a team member through and through. He can see the good in everything. His positive attitude and smile are infectious. We should all have Patrick's qualities. He has earned the respect and admiration of many faculty, staff, students, parents, and alumni, and the president. Thank you, Patrick, for everything. Our final category for this year is service, and the awardee this year is Michael Healy. <laughs> if you wear a coat like that, you have to strut. <laughs> that is a nice coat. Mike is a hard worker 
who never complains. He takes pride in any and all tasks and ensures all tasks are completed and the university is always looking its best. Mike is always willing to help others and other departments. He is thoughtful and kind to everyone who crosses his path. He takes pride in his work and it shows. We are lucky to have Mike as a part of our team and as part of Norwich University. He's a wonderful example of why Norwich is such a special place. Congrats, Mike. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Patrick, Michael, and Sherry. One more round of applause, folks. I talked very briefly about you know, how special I think this is and the connection to our employees. This morning we had the staff, um, staff retreat day and Rebecca Schubert from the Green Mountain um, Higher Ed Consortium was here and talked about two things that she noted were special about us, why we all are here or stay here and it's you know, our passion for supporting students which in my role as Dean of Students that's typically what I talk about what I would be excited about but in this context I was really enamored with the other point which was, we're here for the people, that we're connected to the people. And so, what a special opportunity. And it was very neat for me to hear Rebecca talk about that from the outside, and that's what we're feeling and experiencing. So, without further ado, let's recognize some more of our folks. All right, I'm gonna give some instructions here in a bit, but for now, here's an easy one. Who has developed and advanced this year by way of completing a degree? Anyone who's completed a degree in the last year, please stand to be recognized. Folks are slowly standing quietly. All right, congratulations. All right, and this is a very cool one too. We're gonna to start to recognize our milestone years of service, all right? And here's where I start to give instructions. I'm gonna bark orders at us, right? So I'm gonna ask everyone to come up, forget stage right, stage left, I don't know which one is which. We're gonna go right in front of the stage and we're gonna start with our five-year recognition. So I'm gonna off, read off a list of names. These are our employees who've been here with Norwich celebrating five years here. Please hold your applause until the end. Line up here, we're gonna give you a certificate and the president's gonna give some recognition and we'll get a photo. So, without further ado, I'll start the list. Come on up and stand by. Five years of service at Norwich. We've got 31 folks. Samantha Augustus, Robert Blanchard, Lindsay Budnick, woo! No applause, but you can woo and hoot and holler all you want. Joe Cataret, Jennifer Davis, Krista Day, woo! And I apologize, there are gonna be a few names that I may not get right, I'm gonna start that now. Kawa. Duoga, Philip Dow, Cameron Ellsworth, Melissa Godden, Alexandra Goff, Joseph Greenhow, Julie Gutzko. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Clark Haywood. Is Clark here? He got a woo. All right, Miriam Cohn, Sarah LaForce, Colette Leonard. I'm noticing a theme. Colette's been called up, I think, two or three times. Sherry Campbell, three times today. Justin Marriott, Scott Maxim, Kayla Matza, Daniel Morris, Mary O'Callaghan, Sean O'Reilly. Woo! Heather Porter, Zach Rathier, Caitlin Smith, Stephanie Snell, where'd Stephanie go? There she is. Charles Snow, Carrie Stevens, Kellyanne Sutton Bosley, is Kellyanne here? 
and Joseph Iglesias. And we can now give a round of applause, folks. Five years. Hold on, folks. Five years, come on back. I'll get better instructions next time. <laughs> Zach Rathier is excited about more hardware, right? All right. All right. And so that means we're on to 10 years. It's interesting to me just how many folks stay and how long we stay here. What a special place. So we had 31 folks who are celebrating five years. We have 17 folks who are celebrating 10 years. Mitch Abraham. Mitch, are you here? All right. Michael Anton. James Avery. Mark Collier. Anybody seen Mark Collier? <laughs> Kat Collins. John Hart, woo, <laughs> Sean Kramer, Lori Lamoth, woo, woo, ooh, Lori, I think you're leading the way here with the woos. <laughs> Nathan Loveless, not that it's a competition. Nathan Loveless, Mark Parker, Coach Frank Pecora, John Puglio, Judith Sassy, Mark Shuttle, woo. <laughs> Tolia Starnerov, Matthew Thomas, and David Ulbrich. Ten years, folks. Celebrating one day of service as our newest campus photographer, Brigadier General Bill McCall. All right, and 11 folks with 15 years of service here at Norwich. Coach Neil Anderson, Marina Rajinikova Aronson, Nikki Dunning, Jason Galligan Baldwin. Stephen Hall, Gunny Mercado, Michael Prairie, Coach Bill Russell, Adam Sevy, Norm St. Ange, and Holly Yakowick. Congratulations, 15 years. And now, not that this has anything to do with me, but we're surpassing my 18 years here and we're on to 20 years. So you folks have been here a long time. <laughs> Sorry to say. Um, and one in particular, we'll start with Laura Amel. <laughs> Barbara Croson. Randolph Friend. Kimberly Healy. Jane Jocelyn, Michael Kelly, Janet Mara, 
Scotty Mullen, Kelly Nolan, Penny Stahl, and I don't know that I've ever seen or heard this name before. This is new. Does anybody know a George Sanders? <laughs> Twenty years, Georgie. Twenty yearsers, including Laura in particular, I'm sorry about the age joke, but that's a long time. Speaking of which, 25 years. 25 years, we have four folks who are celebrating 25 years. Chrissy Eastman. And I encourage all the hoots and woos that we can get now because we're really getting up there. And I had no idea, so this is really interesting to see. William Gibb. Christy, uh, excuse me, Christine McCann, and Anthony Russo. Tony. It's Tony here, there's Tony. All right, 25 years. All right, and somehow we're jumping to 30 years, and we have 12 colleagues celebrating 30 years. This is incredible. Michael Andrew, Tom Baker, Woo! <laughs> Paul Booth, Coach Paul Booth, Woo! Ann Brown, Dougie Ferris, sorry Dougie, Douglas Ferris. Jonathan Hatch. Ooh, Lori, we've got some competition here with John Hatch. I like to call Chopper, Connie Chopper, Connie Hopper. Anyone who's emailed Connie before, chopper at norwich.edu. Amber Lambert. Woo! Michelle Langley. Woo! Mr. Bob Quelch. Woo! Carol Spaulding. And Judith Stallings Ward. Is Judith here? Here we are. 30 years. turning the page over looking for more. We have one more. 35 years. Sorry, we have two more. 35 years. Is Patricia Jarvis with us for 35 years? All right, no Patricia, but how about a round of applause for 35 years of service to Norwich? And one last. Is Tammy Hale here? Tammy? Not here. Tammy is not here. I'm so sorry. But 35 years and Tammy, 40 years of service. One last round of applause. All right. Ready for retirees? This is a very exciting opportunity to introduce several retirees. Um, some could not be here, but some are here and have come back to join us. I hate to do it again. The president did it once, but I'll 
look over to you, Kathy Murphy Moriarty. Hi. It's so nice to see you. I'm excited for you. Um, that said, I'm remiss and sad and embarrassed to admit my good friend, Mr. David Whaley, is one of our 15 retirees who selflessly served Norwich University. And this is this group of retirees, a combined, so 15 retirees, a combined total of 350, 350 years of service to Norwich. My goodness. <laughs> And so, Dave, it's, it's, the, it's the part where I think of you as a friend that I'm ashamed to admit, right, from our noon hoops days. But otherwise, here are our retirees, and I'll add their years of service. And retirees, please come up when I call your name. Mr. David Whaley, 42 years of service. Dave, do you know, do you know how old I am? So two weeks ago, I was in Dave's office, and he asked me, do you remember something about Norwich in, I forget, the 90s or the 70s? And I was like, Dave, I don't you think you, born. I wasn't born. Whatever he was asking me, I wasn't born yet. So I, I, maybe it's time for retirement. I, I don't know. But I think it was about the 70s, and I thought, I think you're barking up the wrong tree, sir. All right, so the next two folks could not be with us today. Andrew Bud Knopf, 39 years and Harriet Hurst, 38 years of service. I'm thrilled to introduce, I'm hoping she's here, I haven't seen her, but Kathy Smith, is Kathy here today? Oh, there she is, hi Kathy. 37 years of service and fresh back from her trip to Dingle, Ireland. And Stuart Robertson. I saw Stu. Is Stu, you still here? 33 years. And Paula Gleason, 26 years. Paula could not be here tonight. Is Paula here? Linnea LaPearl, 23 years. Linnea, there she is. And the next four, uh, Dr. Michael Puttycomb, 22 years, Kathleen McDonald, 18 years, Diane Verrett, 18 years, and Duncan Courier, 15 years. <laughs> you got two more, sir. Yeah, two more. Mark, you got two more. Yeah. So I've got two more that can't be here. Martin, Matt Rowland, nine years, and Dr. Paulette Tabo. Paulette couldn't be here either. Nine years for Matt. Seven years for Paulette. Ed Schmeckpepper, 14 years. Dr. Edwin Schmeckpepper, are you here? There we are. And, and Kathy, I, I can't hardly believe that nine years of service, I felt like it was a lot longer. I can't remember a time at Norwich without you. Um, Kathy Murphy Moriarty, nine years. Our retirees, ladies and gentlemen. One more round of applause, please, for our retirees. All right. Now
Now, please forgive me for just a moment with some housekeeping. Two things. One, bakers and chefs. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, but those of you who did so well today, prize winners and runners up, take your goodies if you haven't already. Just a reminder, you're welcome to grab what you need to do on your way out. Thank you for sharing them. And for all of us here who might have a gold star, please go take a look at the gold star for yourself and for others. And thanks to those of you, to President Ann Ramos' point about the 31 nominations for the Kay Bowen Awards. Look at those two boards full of stars. Thank you for taking time to think of, celebrate, and recognize uh, your peers, your colleagues, your friends, your coworkers. Um, and if it is your star on the board, please go ahead and take it, take it with you, and celebrate that. And some of you will have more than one. All right. I want to say thank you to Sodexo or any of our Sodexo folks here and in the back. I see our catering manager, Trina. Thank you. Facilities and operations teams and our IT, uh, IT staff and teams, thank you very much. That's you, Zach. Thank you, George. Um, and lastly, I want to thank a few groups. Will the Kay Bowen Award Committee please stand up? And I know Rev is Rev chairing. Is Rev here today? He's traveling. All right. So the Kay Bowen Award Committee, can you please stand up so I can say thank you? We can all say thank you. So the exciting thing about this is these are past recipients, right? So we cycle through. You serve after receiving the K. Bowen Award. You'll serve. That's right. The three of you that are new recipients are supposed to serve for the next two years, right? And so a neat way to cycle through. Thanks for your service. And congratulations one or two years out on your previous award. Our human resources team who put a lot of this together. Anybody here from human resources still? Please stand. Thank you. And then one last group, and this is our employee recognition team, the folks who really are the critical key folks putting this together. Laura Cropley, Kyle Southworth, and Sarah Quincy, recognition yet again. <laughs> A very nice event, and thanks to President Andrew Rumo for being here and for presenting the Kay Bowen Awards. And for Dave, thank you for coming up and sharing some thoughts about Kay. Very nice. Excuse me. Mrs. Bowen. <laughs> All right, folks, you can't stay here. You don't, well, how do you say it? You don't got to go home, but you can't stay here? That's the story. This concludes the 43rd annual employee recognition event. Retirees, well, you don't got to go home. You can stay here and have cake, apparently. That's the answer. All right, now that concludes our 43rd annual employee recognition event. Congratulations, retirees.